hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here and what we have here we take 2 raised to power 6 to the left hand side and we have x raised to power 6 minus 2 raised to power 6 equals to 0 here the next step we can write this as x raised to power 3 or raised to power 2 as 2 times 3 gives us 6 then also minus 2 raised to power 3 or raised to power 2 now equals to 0 here then here this follows when we have a square minus b square which is same thing as a plus b into brackets then open bracket a minus b which is difference of two squares this here a is standing as x raised to power 3 and b standing as 2 raised to power 3 then what we have here becomes s raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power 3 into bracket then also open bracket x raised to power 3 minus 2 raised to power 3 close bracket then equals to 0 from here that is here we have two possible cases the first one x raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have x raised to power 3 minus 2 raised to power 3 equals to 0 here. And solving on this side, this following we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a square minus ab plus b square. That is, here all we have becomes x plus 2 into brackets then open bracket x square minus 2x plus 2 square close bracket then equals to 0 here which same thing as x plus 2 into brackets then open bracket x square minus 2x plus 2 squared as 4 close bracket equals to 0 here then also we have two possible cases here that is x plus 2 equals to 0 or we have x squared minus 2x plus 4 equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side we have x equals to minus 2 which is a real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 2 and c equals to 4 and applying the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a all we have becomes x equals to minus minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4 then all over 2 times 1 which implies we have x equals to minus minus as done to plus that is we have 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 square that's 4 then minus we can still leave this as 4 times 4 then over 2 here that is we have x equals to 2 plus or minus square root of here 4 is common. When you factor it out, we have 4 into brackets. We are left with 1 minus 4. Close brackets. Then over 2 here. That is, we have x equals to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 times 1 minus 4. That's minus 3. All over 2. Then when we separate this, and we take out root 4. Root 4 is 2. That is, we have x equals to 2 plus or minus 2. Then root minus 3. That's now root 3i. Then over 2. Then from here, this 2 goes in 2. And also going to here 1. That's x equals to 1 plus or minus root 3i. That is, we have two complex solutions here then 
Solving from the second case here, this also follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3. With the same thing as a minus b into brackets and open bracket a squared plus a b plus b squared. Then what we have here becomes x minus 2 into brackets and open bracket x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared close bracket equals to zero here that is this is same thing as x minus 2 into bracket open bracket x square plus 2x plus 4 close bracket equals to zero here that is also here we have two possible cases the first one x minus 2 equals to zero or we have x square plus 2x plus 4 equals to 0 here. Solving on this side, we have x equals to 2, which is also a re-solution here. Then here, we have a quadratic equation, where a equals to 1, b equals to 2, and c equals to 4. Now, applying the quadratic formula, yeah, what we have becomes x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4 then over 2 times 1. That is, we have x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared as 4 then minus here. We can still use as 4 times 4 then over 2. That is, here, yeah, this becomes x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of we have 4 into bracket 1 minus 4 left, then over 2 here. That is, here yeah, this becomes x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 times 1 minus 4 is minus 3 all over 2. Then we can separate this and bring out with 4, that's 2. That is, we have x equals to minus 2 plus or minus 2. Then we have root minus 3 as root 3i then over 2. And here we can as well write as x equals to minus 2 over 2 plus or minus 2 root 3i over 2. And 2 goes into 1. That's x equals to minus 1 plus or minus. Here we also have root 3i. That is. We have two complex solutions here as well. And therefore, all together in this problem, we have six solutions. That is two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. And see you next class. Bye for now.